Hello everyone, I'm Eloi Atapalo Scooter, the CTO. I just came back from a long trip in China. We spent weeks there and as we always do, we recorded some footage of what it is inside the factory, but also what we do for testing our scooter on the rig testing. So the testing rig that you see here are the one that we showed you before, but we decided to really install our model this time and take the time to document them properly. So on the first one, you see the push and pull rig that we do uh, on our scooter. And this is to replicate the phenomena that happen when you accelerate and decelerate with the scooter. As you know, we have pretty strong acceleration with our dual motor scooter, but also deceleration with the region. So it's important to be able to log thousands of kilometers on a short amount of time of this push and pull repetition on the stem. This test is going to test the direction tube present inside the folding mechanism, which is usually the point of failure, the folding mechanism, the neck of the scooter, and also the stem. The second rig is uh, a rig that we had at our factory before, that we fix the rear suspension on a fixed point, and we have a front metal wheel spinning the wheel with a bump at every turn and this is to just make the whole suspension work to its limit. This is a rig that was there when we came to our factory. We decided to buy another rig that we call the Monster Rig because this one is able to snap any scooter within a very short amount of time. The difference with this one is we are able to load more weight on it up to 300 kilos and both wheels are gonna absorb the shock and we are able on this one to modify the height of every bump. So we can do one centimeter, two centimeter, three centimeter, up to five centimeter, which is horrible for the scooter. And it's gonna be affecting both wheel at the same time. So it's giving a more realistic picture of what can happen when you ride your scooter as both wheels gonna be absorbing the shock. Another interesting rig that we have is the one we call the fish tank. And this is to ensure that every component by itself is waterproof. So when we do IP66, for example, we send it to a laboratory that have a spinning station that shoots a high pressure water jet on it. This one is really just for components. So you can see here, I'm dipping the controller inside the water, the LEDs inside the water, as those are the electric components that are exposed to the outside environment. One thing that you don't see is that this laboratory is next to our incoming QC that we call IQC. This is when we receive part at the factory and we're gonna do random batch testing of maybe 20 pieces of battery, for example, to be sure that uh, they are perfect. So there's an outgoing QC happening at the supplier level, but we also need to have our incoming QC just to have a double safety. This is what you see happening here with a battery. We're gonna select some batteries of our different models, put it in this rig, and this rig is gonna be able to tell us the total capacity of the battery. It's gonna be able to charge it completely and discharge it completely, um, and it's gonna monitor the temperature as well. So with this rig, we're able to ensure that we have the right cell inside the pack that we paid for, and that it has the design capacity that we want, that nothing is abnormal with the temperature, uh, and lastly, that it's charging and discharging properly, which indicate that the BMS is also working as intended. Lastly, our throttle testing. This one is one that you saw uh, at the office. We have it back here in Montreal, but we also have one in China. And this is a simple rig. It's just to press and release the throttle for hundreds of thousands of times. Uh, from all the other throttle we tested, the maximum is 100,000 cycle, 100,000 press and release. So this throttle rig is something we do with the incoming QC again, that every batch we receive a throttle, we're gonna put 20, 30 piece, depending on how big is the batch, uh, and we're gonna be able to test it and ensure that nothing changed from one production to the other. So there you have it, this is how we test an individual scooter or component at our factory. And again, this is coupled with all the beta testing that we do, all the FEA analysis that we do, uh, which all of them comes together to be able to offer you a 10,000 kilometer warranty, which is by far the biggest in the industry. Let us know down in the comment below if you think we should be running other tests or if there's any other tests that we do that you would like to see that maybe we didn't mention in this video.